Hi guys, I'm Shmi and today I am visiting Abt where I'm joined by Daniel. How are you? Very good, how are you? I'm awesome. It's lovely to be back here. Obviously I've visited a few times before and today we're going to be taking a look at your very own TTRSR. Yes. One of 50 in the world, but firstly, Formula E season is nearly over. How's it gone this year? Pretty good actually. Yep. Uh, Formula E is an amazing racing series for those oh. who don't know. Uh, you drove the car so you, yep. you have a bit of an idea what it's all about. <laughs> and uh, yeah, two more races. We're going to New York next and uh, Montreal and then it's all, all done. That's going to be kind of cool. And then next year gets underway with even more tracks and places to visit as well. Yes, so uh, good if you guys can, come watch us. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. But today we're going to be taking a look at your car. Let me just swing the camera through and take a look at this. Your TT RS R, one of 50 in the world. You've had the car for a short while, you must love it. I do love it. I mean, I've, I've owned the, let's say, the older TTRS before, uh, always been a big fan, and then when the new came out, I directly got one, and of course, wanted to make sure that it gets upgraded and the way I want to have it. Indeed, and in this, in the RSR, 50 of them, I know power is up from 400 to 500 PS, yes. torque up from 400 to 570 Newton meters, so it goes, 2.5 liter petrol engine, it goes a lot. But let's just have a sort of wander around. Um, the color has clearly changed. Yeah, it's a, a special wrapping. Uh, the color is called uh, red, orange, matte, chrome or something like that. <laughs> I have no idea yeah. if that's the right. It's got the sort right of satin thing. chrome kind e of finish. Exactly, yeah, that's, that's how it's run. And I, I saw that on a picture and I just loved it. And I think it fits the, the carbon parts and the, the rims and just the overall look, also the interior, it mm -hmm. just fits it really, really well. And on the sort of exterior, sort of side of things obviously I can tell there's quite a lot overhaul there's a new diffuser new stainless steel exhaust system with the quad pipes um, 20 inch wheels uh, you've got these sort of flicks on the side skirt um, ah, the badging on the uh, carbon exhaust uh, exhaust <laughs> fuel cap I should I should say the right thing there uh, mirror caps um, the canards around the side of the front the grill as well I'm taking a look around which just kind of beefs it up and makes it a little bit more aggressive which is well, how it should be really, isn't it? That's how you want um, it. I enjoyed driving a standard TTRS uh, at the press launch when it came out, but with 100 horsepower more, this is a... Uh... It's a beast. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine, and in a moment we'll, uh, we'll jump in. Can we just have a quick look at the inside? So in here, the carbon for the seats, that's nice. Um, how you're greeted by that when you step in, the uh, sill plaque. But it's just a good place to be in here, isn't it? Yes. I mean, we've done a lot on the interior. As you can probably see, it's yeah. a lot of Alcantara. Yeah, the we, hole in the quilting. Exactly. We kept the original look with all the original color. That's how it came or how the mm -hmm. seats, the seats were like that. Mm -hmm. But everything else has been done. The carbon on the back of the seat. Uh, Let me fold this forward so we can yeah. see that. So that here, is very nice. Here we added all full carbon. The, the rear seats have also got the stitching like the front seats and uh, yeah, just it I makes for a it. nice package, really nice package. Do you mind jumping in and firing it up? Yeah, of course. You can hear how it sounds. Oh, nice. The, uh, the crackle you get, that's good. You heard that? Not but bad. Actually, I have to say, when, it's, when the ex exhaust gets hot, that's yeah. when it sounds the best. So well, I hope, hopefully we'll hear that shortly. So, I think we're going to jump in, go for a little drive, see what this car is like out on the road. And, uh, yeah, it looks good. Let's see how it is inside. Cool. So, here we are. Inside. A bit of a beast. And there's more to this than meets the eye as well, because you've done the suspension springs. Yes, roll bars. Uh, okay. Roll bars in it. Obviously, the engine tuning, so it's, it's fun. I love that crackle when it starts. Oh, that's good, huh? It sounds so good. It's still got the air. Uh... Right. Cool, Come cool. On. So, dynamic. Here we go. Yeah, dynamic mode required. Cool. I guess, sat in here, it's the new TT. It's a good car, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, what I really, <laughs> what I really like is that it's so clean. Yeah, no, simple. I love these dials. Yeah, I mean, just the toggles for the air conditioning, the full uh, dynamic driver display with yeah. the screen that you can set up and have the nav and the map and all of that. Um, super smooth gearbox. It's just really nice. 
the way everything's out, I, I mean, I'm a big, big Alcantara carbon man. Oh, so yes. Let's take so all the boxes. <laughs> carbon tray, brilliant. carbon door handles, Alcantara, everything. Yeah. That's how it should be. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> how it should be, yeah. I also like it. I mean, people tend to say that if you use too much, it's not good, but I'm like, that's wrong. There's yeah, no such thing as too much. Yeah, there's not too much. <laughs> It's got a nice little rasp to it, even just pulling away gently. And I love the shift noise. Yeah, the shift I mean, noise is really good. The, the five-cylinder engine's always done that. That little sound can kind of pop when it shifts. But but one of the kind of funny things that some of my audience will remember when I was driving the RS6 112, uh, the Amp special edition for the 120th anniversary last year, um, we went round the car and we were counting Amp logos. How many logos there are yeah. and i was just thinking here you've got the rear view mirror you've got the door mirrors not so many on the dash one in the gear stick i like um, i'll have to show this afterwards but your uh, your custom da logo on the headrest that's yeah. that's really neat um, but yeah you wouldn't forget where you are finally out of town it's quick isn't it it's yeah. really quick it's like 50 to 100 just just once nothing. on the pedal and then boom you're there quattro still all-wheel drive just shoots and that was one of the things so I drove the TTRS factory car which I mean at 400 horsepower is already fast but 500 this is substantially more and the crazy thing is just how good a car it is and how fun a car it is like really entertaining to drive and for me it still works as a daily driver that's that's why I like it it's a it's a very sporty car but still yeah. you can you have some space in the back you know not like an R8 way yeah can, you, I mean, you can lose everything put anything in and I mean, these, these roads are very smooth, but it's not uncomfortably rough or anything. It's well, it's, it's not. Nice. It's not the most comfortable car. In the no, world, no, no. You course, said, I, yeah, I should make the point. You've set it up to be a kind of driving experience, yes. to be a sort of a proper sports yes. car. But it's not. But it still works. Yeah, it still works for sure. What's coming? Is <laughs> off? Is <ESC> off? <laughs> yes, it's on. No cars around. Okay, cling on tight. So. And a hundred. <laughs> that is ridiculously fast. Do, do you know the the number, the claim? Um, it's yeah, just quick. Just I mean, quick. I think the Audi says with all the the engine tuning, I think it's they say three point seven. Yeah. I think we say three point five. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it always depends on you know how Factors much fuel sure. you have. One person more, but for sure, it feels. It really, feels quick, really and it, do you know what I think? What's most impressive is the way it gets traction instantly, yeah, yeah. and that's quite true, isn't it? Yeah. Just like you just start moving. Even like no. I, I've, I've done that in, in the wet, yeah. And even there, of course, it slips a bit, but still, it's like it's unbelievable how much it grips and how it yeah. just goes forward and Launch it's mega. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Cool. Swap over time. Driver <laughs> change. Looking forward to it. So here we go. I'm a really bad passenger, I have to say. I okay, mean, I'll, I'll be gentle. <laughs> don't worry. Um, I don't need to move anything. This is all. This is all good. Nice yeah? and easy. Yeah, perfect. So, into drive, into dynamic. I have to start on dynamic and uh, experience what it's about. It's ready to go. Break. Normal drive on the gearbox. It's still super gentle, isn't it? Yeah. Super calm. Up into fourth gear at 50 kilometers an hour. It's yeah, no concerns, no issues, no stress. However, one pull down and you're in sport mode on the gearbox, which is a little bit more fun. Or you can press it to the side and go manual, which is probably how we should drive really. Yeah. The shifts are so quick. Lightning fast. Just check. I think, yeah, it wasn't the noise. Ah, now we're going to get even more noise. Yeah. <laughs> As I use the revs. It's a good sound. I mean, it's probably quite loud outside. Yeah. I feel like it's quite well kind of insulated in here. But immediately you feel like it's a it's a sporty drive, it's an engaging drive. I mean, not even pushing particularly hard through corners, but the steering just feels super, super tight. And I, I guess how you want it. Direct also, huh? yeah. It's like, if you put it in comfort mode, it gets a bit, especially yeah. the first steering input is a bit dodgy, but 
with the dynamic is really good. Again, there's not sort of much turn required. <laughs> noise. <laughs> it just has a character. It has an exciting character. I think sometimes yeah, that's what you want in a car, especially this. This is built to be a sports car. Yeah. And now even more so, obviously. <laughs> come out to the uh, flowing road. Opportunity to put one's foot down. It's really quick, it's really quick. This is definitely kind of up there in terms of the, the experience and the way it's sort of built upon to make it even more so, especially that noise. It's great, isn't it's good, it? Though. Really good. Just give it a gentle squeeze and away we go. You know the one thing though, the one thing is you go a lot faster than you realise you're going. Yeah. It picks up speed so quickly and almost in a kind of undramatic way. Um, you've got the noise of the, the exhaust on the shifts, but you sort of look down and you're like, oh, I didn't see that coming as you've uh, built up through the kilometres. But, I mean, that's just a sign of how good it is, isn't it? Yeah, Stop. Well, that's always the danger with those cars, huh? Like yeah. With R6, it's even worse, I think. Yes. With R6, you feel like, okay, I'm at 50, and you look at 90 or something. It's yeah. like, oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> and I mean, that comes from starting It's such a good base car, and then you make the base car even better. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just cruising along this kind of road is really, really fun, and that's what it should be. That's what the car the car's all about. Uh, I think it's, it makes for a nice package. And what is also good, I know it's not something you would talk about a lot in a sports car, but the fuel consumption okay. is actually really good. Huh? It's like 12, 12 liters on average, which okay. I think for 500 horsepower yeah. is really not that's, bad. That's a pretty solid number. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it went around for me, obviously, miles per gallon my way around. Yeah, so I have so, to do uh, the, some know. sort of loose conversion <laughs> in my head, but that sounds like a, uh, a decent number, 500 horsepower, nearly 600 newton meters of torque, and a car that's this entertaining to drive. And, uh, sure a little bit of fuel is going by way of the exhaust when you do the downshifts and you get the crackles the fuel in the exhaust system I mean that's engineered into the car from factory or, or however but yeah. it's good get the window touch down <laughs> that's really good I like things like the way the shift lights are introduced um, into the rev counter yeah Slow it down again. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Nice, right, so let's just comfort it up for a moment, put it into uh, comfort mode, back into drive, let everything relax. Yeah. After all, as you said, you've driven it to Berlin, so it's, it's a car that you can drive in a gentle way, just relax it, and it does, it just transforms, doesn't yeah. it? And it's also you quieter. lose the you lose the, yeah it's quieter you lose the the noise you know you can you can either run it really yeah. loud oh there's no there's no drone or anything right now yeah. in comfort mode with the exhaust quiet there's silence yeah like no, nobody can complain about that um, and everything just gets a bit easier you have some wiggle room in the steering wheel so you're not quite, you don't have to be quite on it um, I mean that comes through the, the dynamic steering as part of the drive select where you can customize it um, and you can set all the settings individually how you want them as well which is nice. You know that, I'm telling you, you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cool. We're back. So that's quite fun. Pop the car the other way around this time. Nice. So, just for a bit of fun, uh, because we've got to do it. Oh, yeah, stop start. <laughs> yeah. Into dynamic yeah. mode. Window down. Sound in sport mode. To park, obviously. We don't want to <laughs> launch forwards. Oh, nice! That's cool. That's good, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Awesome. Let's just take another quick walk around, have a look at the car, a little bit more at some of the modifications that we mentioned earlier, the sort of way it's all set up and the way it looks, and those exhaust tips that make that awesome, awesome sound that you just heard there. And uh, in fact, the other one is just about to go on the move as well, which is... Uh... <laughs> Neat, off it goes. But it's got the new wheel design, the 20-inch wheels all round. 
um, red calipers on this car to match the uh, body colour as well. The uh, carbon that you can see has all these sort of uh, parts for cosmetic and aero and styling. Um, the car itself is pretty aggressive as it is from Audi. Um, but the new carbon grille, uh, the TTRSR lettering there under Daniel's number plate. KE is Kempton where we are by the way, but Daniel Abt won. I think that's quite neat. Nice play, Daniel. Um, and yeah, the sort of carbon going all around on the inside um, <laughs> in the logo game. On the inside, I was mentioning earlier, the uh, DA on the headdress is really nice. Uh, the TTRS. And then yeah, just the sort of styling is all just sort of upgraded, made very, very neat. And the floor mats, if I move my cameras out of the way, have the TTRS, uh, RSR, and the app logo on them, and the side skirts, uh, the sort of door sills as well. So it's a quite nice package in terms of how it looks and in terms of how it drives. Well, that brings us to the end of this one. Thank you very much for the opportunity to take a drive in your car. You're more than welcome. And guys, also, Daniel has a YouTube channel as well that you will find down below, so go check it out. See more of the sort of videos behind the scenes, what you get up to, some of the driving, some of the racing, two more races to go. Everything. Yeah, everything, basically. <laughs> Almost and everything. Of course, good luck with those final races. Good luck with next Thanks. year. We'll catch up again soon, though, I'm sure. We'll wrap up there, then. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Hope you enjoy the Ab TTRSR. Thanks, of course, for coming along. and. For the drive. That's it though. I'll catch up with you again very soon. See you. Cheers.